Welcome back to the Plays with Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Miniatures Mondays. We've got another M2 hauler uh, to kind of show off. And I know we kind of just did one of these a few weeks ago with the um, Trans Am Camaro carrying open one. But this one's a little different. Uh, I found this in Walmart of all places. I know, I know. I don't. I don't really go there, but they get these exclusives, so you got to check them for, for car stuff. But there's only 7,800 of these, and I have not seen or heard of this one anywhere, and mine had just the one. Like, this was it. They had an entire case of, of M2 haulers of all sorts of different ones, and this was the only one of these in there. And it was just really cool, because it's enclosed, which I don't have any enclosed um, separate ones yet. I have the two, like, Hot Wheels car culture box trucks. But those are, you know, short. This is like a full-length trailer. Um, but it has the old, original Yokohama uh, branding on it in GT Special. And I was like, oh man, that'll look really cool in the display case. And then I realized, it comes with a car, too. So, we are totally... Oh wow, look at that. We are totally going to open this thing up. Let me go grab the knife while you guys... Take a gander at that. <clears throat> All right. Didn't have my knife within easy grabbing distance this time. Yep, forget the collector qualityness of being in the package. We open them here at Plays with Cars. <laughs> Um, oh, whoa. It says it on the box, too, on the background. Oh, no, that's cool. I could cut that out and turn it into a, um, like a display board for my Trans Am track I keep talking about doing. All right. Check got the truck here. Good. Got it all on both sides. Looks really good. I'm hoping I won't have to unscrew this thing to get to the car inside. Let's see. Aha. So it says on there, 1957 Mac Model N and a 71 Nissan Skyline GTR. And the Skyline should be here. Ha oh. ha. Oh, Aw, it's bolted down in there. We can't really see it. Well, you know what? Let's grab the screwdriver too. I'm not letting you win that easily, M2. I wonder if this is all the way through to the car or if I have to take the trailer off the stand and then get to the car. It looks like there might be another screw right there for the car. We'll find out. I really want to see this skyline. I know M2 does some... Aha! It doesn't let the car out, but it does let me swing the trailer around maybe just enough. No. So M2 traditionally has just done um, American cars and classic ones at that. They don't really do any anything newer as far as I know. And they've always disappointed me because their um, classic cars are never AMCs, which are my favorite, obviously. Hey, there's a little truck. Check that out, the Mac. We'll leave him on there for now, now that we've got our, our trailer off. See Bahama there on the front. Um, but anyways, they, they never do AMCs, and the cars that they do do are usually like just Camaros and Corvettes and Mustangs and just, they do a fair bit of Mopar, but I mean just, it's the same stuff you see everywhere. Now, it's really great quality, like don't get me wrong, if I was going to collect um, standard American cars, 
I would collect them too. They they are fantastic quality. It's just it they don't seem to really make anything that you can't already get from somewhere else, um, which was a disappointment. Man, how many screws hold in the? Looks like they got two holding that in. Um, so the fact that they started making JDM stuff was was really huge news. There's a lot of people that are like, oh my god, like that's really out of the norm for them, and it is. But it's also, I mean, a Hakosuka Skyline is pretty well known by now. Matchbox makes them, Hot Wheels makes them, Tamika Limited Vintage obviously makes them, um, Racing Champion makes them. I mean, it, it's a pretty common car uh, as far as JDM goes, but it's still cool to see their take on it. Oh, yeah, that thing is wicked cool. Look at the roof. Yokohama GT Special R Radial, and then it's got the Yokohama on the back window. You got the separate rear spoiler and the chrome on the taillights. Tiny, tiny, tiny little Yokohama GT radial on the on the tires, pad printed. Got the Japanese nostalgic car. Uh, uh, what the heck do they call that thing? Something can. To the name of that logo. Yeah, I guess the Hot Wheels designer that had been doing all of the JDM stuff is no longer at Hot Wheels, so maybe he went to M2, and that's where we're seeing all the JNC stuff there now. But look at that, the hood flips forward like it's supposed to. Wicked cool looking. You see a generic motor in there. Now that's disappointing. Uh, the Hakusuka Skyline used a... An inline six, I believe, um, motor, and this, regardless of whether it was a four or six, this has five spark plugs on it. One, two, three, four, five. So <laughs> that's not very accurate to anything. And then the engine is like leaned over like a Porsche 944 motor. It's like not centered at all. Then it's got this big square thing that I presume is supposed to be a manifold or an air box with maybe some linkage looking stuff on it. So they went through all this trouble to have the opening hood and an engine and then didn't do a very uh, quality engine. Huh. Well, anyways, this will look really cool up in the display case with the... Uh, I'll probably leave the hood down on it though because it does look good with it down. It's nice that it has like the stock no flare in the front, and that tiny little add-on flare in the back. So many of the Hakos um, have the flare added to the front, too. Uh, and so it's nice to see the actual factory version uh, from M2, which is cool. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm happy. It, I mean, it's a, it's a cool car. It's a really cool truck and trailer. Like, this is, like, seriously hefty and is going to look awesome uh, up on the up in the display. Um, but these things are kind of pricey. I, I want to say this was like 17 or 18 bucks. Um, you know, and, and really, you're just getting a, a truck and a trailer and a car. Um, I mean, it is display-worthy and stuff, but it's, it's pretty pricey even as far as premium die-cast stuff goes. And when you get stuff like a five-cylinder <laughs> as your engine, it's just kind of like, eh... So, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, go out and buy all of the different um, M2 haulers or anything, but if you're looking for, like, that one big display piece to, like, anchor your die-cast display, maybe think about picking one up that's got something you really like in it. Uh, if you do drag racing, they've got a really neat old-school Jegs one uh, that's got um, a Mopar hauler on the front and has a, uh, either a Roadrunner or a Super B in the back, like Super Stock Car, but 1960s style. Uh, with the old school Jags logo, which would be really cool. Um, and then if you're into, you know, the Trans Am stuff, like we showed you the, the open top uh, Trans Am Camaro transporter. If you're into JDM, they've got the Yokohama here. Um, I think they've got a couple other ones that are, are pretty neat too. So, you know, like I said, if you display yours like we do here, and you want like one big thing to put in the middle in the background to kind of like give some depth and character to your display, I'd recommend picking one up. Um, but I wouldn't say, like, to go out and collect all the, the trucks. First of all, I mean, they could take up a bunch of space. Um, and especially if you leave them in the box, you're going to miss out on actually getting the car out. And the car is way cool. So 
open them up, get them on the display case. I'd, I'd say just just pick one up, but we got two. We've got the, but I also have two cases. So this will now be the anchor point on the my JDM shelves um, with the two little box trucks from Hot Wheels, and uh, I'm gonna go from one JDM shelf to two JDM shelves now, and. Yeah, so we'll show you that sometime in the future, but we got a bunch of cool stuff uh, coming up on Miniatures Mondays. We're going to get back to doing some detailing. Hot Wheels came out with some stuff that's worth detailing again. Um, like this Audi uh, Sport Quattro. You see we got nothing here on the back um, and just a little bit on the nose, so... We're going to detail one of these up and do something a little different. I'm going to show you some, some cool stuff on that. And that will lead into uh, doing our first Matchbox detail, which is going to be this, the Porsche 911 Safari. They did a really great job on this one, but again, nothing on the tail, just about nothing on the nose. The What you see there is actually molded in. That's not painted. And then you've got all this gear on the top. So we're going to detail the heck out of this one too. So those are some upcoming episodes. Um, we're going to get back into working on them too instead of just unboxing them. But I had just found this one uh, over the weekend and really wanted to, to show it off. Because no one is, I didn't even know they were making these or like super limited ones or anything like that. So I wanted to get it out there and, and show it off for everybody so you guys could see. That way if you happen upon one in your store, you know what you're getting into if you want to pick one up. So uh, until next time, that's been Miniatures Monday.